A lot of the PDF that we work with were originally set up for printing for two-page spreads, like this brochure, for example. And oftentimes, I'll run into people who put up these brochures that were meant for print on their website so people could download them. But it's a pet peeve of mine how sometimes they just don't pay any attention to their end user. So if I'm a regular end user, what am I supposed to do with a document that is 11 by 17? If I want to print this out, it's going to have to be very small on my letter size printer. And we're not looking at facing pages that were set up as two individual pages. This is actually an 11 by 17 inch single page document. Do you see how it says that there's only four pages? Because the person who created this in Adobe InDesign exported it with the spreads checkbox turned on, which is often what you want if you are sending a proof to a client and they want to see what something looks like as a spread. But it's not what you want in almost every other instance. Instead, if you have a facing pages document and you want to allow people to view it on screen just for reading on screen and printing on their own local printer, then you should export it as single pages. I have an example of one such document, the Chicago Creative Coalition. They do it right. I downloaded this from their website and here is their newsletter. That's actually a facing pages newsletter that was exported as single pages. Now, why is this useful? You may say, well, first of all, of course, I can print on my eight and a half by 11 inch printer with no problem. But also if I want to see what the spreads look like in Acrobat, then I can simply go to the view menu, go to page display and say, show me two pages. And now I can see the spreads. You can do this in reader as well. But wait, yeah, I hear you saying, this is not how it's meant to be seen. The cover is not on the left-hand page. This is actually the first left-hand facing page of the newsletter. Here's another tip is that if you choose that view under page display to page view, be sure to also choose show cover page in two page view. And that way it's smart enough to put the cover by itself. In other words, the first page will always appear by itself in the spread. And then the remaining pages will appear as facing pages. Now this is actually what the newsletter looks like. And then the last page is the back cover. It would be cool to be able to see the back cover right next to the front cover. But again, we're getting back to what a printer wants to see or what a pre-press department wants to see. This is not normally what your end users want to see when they download the file. So please everyone, if you are passing along PDFs for your end users, to look at on screen or print out, please don't export as spreads, export as single pages and leave it up to your end users to use Reader or Acrobat's view commands to arrange the pages as they see fit.